Today will be my last reflection with you as the reflections are coming to an end. Today we reflect on St. Vincent de Paul. This is his feast day. St. Vincent de Paul is an honorable saint, patron of charitable societies. He was born to poor parents in a small village in France in 1580. Vincent studied hard in school. He became a fine student and was able to attend the university to study theology. In 1600, he was ordained a priest. It would be hard to enumerate all the works of the servant of God, but charity was his predominant virtue. The Sisters of Charity owe this foundation of theirs, their community, to St. Vincent. Have you ever heard of the Society of the organization St. Vincent de Paul, a charitable organization that we have? We have that here in our parish. They serve the needy. Perhaps you have donated food, clothing, or other items, or money even, to this society. The Society of St. Vincent de Paul is truly a blessing to our parish community. Vincent de Paul, a great man of action, was also a contemplative, caught up in God and consumed by his love. His contemplation of God's love overflowed into practical love for the poor. He encourages his followers, let us all give ourselves completely to the practice of prayer, since it is ours to do, that all good things come to us. If we persevere, it is thanks to prayer. If we succeed in our employments, it is thanks to prayer. If we do not fall into sin, it is thanks to prayer. If we remain in charity and it is we saved all the happenings that happen to us, it is thanks to God. Thanks to God in prayer. Just as God refuses nothing to prayer, so also he grants almost everything without prayer. For Vincent, love is always very concrete, very practical. It is love in practice. Let us love God, my brothers and sisters, he urges. Let us love God, but let it be with the strength of our arms and the sweat of our brows. We are called to follow Christ as servants of the poor. Servants get their hands dirty. They labor long and hard. They engage in difficult tasks, visiting the sick and elderly in their homes, feeding street people, serving the hungry, helping the widow and the orphan. They are one of the front lines ministering to the poor, as St. Vincent did, and as St. Vincent says, we must first do and then teach. St. Vincent tells us, that love is inventive to the point of infinity. I encourage you today to be very inventive because you are on the front lines in laboring for the poor. You will be among the first to know their real needs. If Jesus is the bread from heaven given to us and we are the body of Christ, then we must conclude that we ourselves are to be bread from heaven that fosters eternal love for others. Jesus gives himself as bread from heaven. We give ourselves to others. So, bread from heaven. When we confirm our belief by means of the everyday actions, this is what we are doing as bread from heaven, treating another as the body of Christ. This is truly believing. Taking time to be in touch with our spiritual needs is believing. Reaching out in compassion to others is believing. Truly, self-giving is believing. In your ministry, as St. Vincent says, first do and then teach. As a follower of Christ, a servant of the poor, you will touch the hearts of God's people, especially when you give vibrant witness. Through the language, of works, performing the works of justice and mercy, feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, helping to find the cause of their hunger and thirst, 
and the ways of alleviating them. Through the language of words, announcing with deep conviction the Lord's presence, his love, his offer of forgiveness, and acceptance to all. And through the language of relationship, being with the poor, working with them, forming a community that shows the Lord's love for all. The Lord is with us. Be a person like St. Vincent. Help the needy, help the poor. Give to the St. Vincent's Society, for the St. Vincent's Society truly is a wonderful group of people who help the poor and needy. We have those here at our parish. Give to them. Lord, set our hearts on the fire with the compassion of love for the poor. Amen, and have a blessed day.